one evening, Fergus was preparing to take a maintenance train around Edward's line. The tracks between Lower Suddenly and Upper Brendan needed to be replaced. Workmen loaded their tools into a van, behind which Fergus coupled two trucks of ballast and a flatbed of new rails and sleeves. When all was ready, he pushed the train down the line. By the time they reached the station, a dense fog hung in the air. Fergus's lamp shone brightly, and the men set up lights to illuminate the sight. As they worked, Fergus's eyes wandered. The station was dark, and the crossing gates creaked gently. <laughs> A low chuckle broke Fergus's chance. In front of the flatbed was a van. It bore a devious grin, and its eyes were fixed on him intently. Strange, he thought. I don't remember putting a van there. Fergus, you've left our tool van behind. Fergus glanced at the workman beside him. I did not, he insisted. It was right in front of the train. It's not there now, replied the workman. But perhaps you should check this van. Fergus stopped short. The van was gone. We need our tools, one of the workmen losing his patience. Take us back to the yard at once. When they returned to Edward Station, they found Boker and the missing tool van. It's not like you to leave trucks behind, remarked Boker. I didn't leave it behind. Fergus protested. I... He stopped again. At the back of the goods shed sat the grinning van, shrouded in darkness. Would you like me to take the maintenance train? Boko offered. You seem distracted. Fergus looked back at the shed. The van was gone. I, I, I'm fine, he insisted. The fog must be playing tricks with my eyes. Anyhow, we must be off at once. With the tool van in tow, Fergus left the yard once more. For an engine known for its focus and the task at hand, his mind thought of only one thing, the strange van. He kept a watchful eye all the way up the line. Now that they were properly equipped, the men worked fast. They replaced the rails of Lower Sudbury and slowly worked their way along the hill towards Upper Brendan. All the while, Fergus was quiet. Not to worry, old boy, comforted the driver. Uh, we're all a bit forgetful sometimes. Fergus didn't hear his driver's words. He was squinting through the fog towards the head of the train. In front of the ballast trucks was a barely visible grin. There came a sudden rush of wind. Fergus shut his eyes as he braced the gale. Watch out! Fergus opened one eye to identify the source of the noise, only to find himself face to face with the van and its awful smirk. I don't know who you are, Fergus bellowed, but I've had... <laughs> Suddenly, Fergus was being pushed down the hill. His brakes screamed as he tried to halt the train. The sound mixed with the howling wind and the vile cracking of the van. Fergus shut his eyes, straining with all his might. With one last effort, he stopped at the bottom of the hill. He opened his eyes, and once again, the van was gone. By morning, the fog had cleared, and Boko arrived with a breakdown train. The workmen spoke to Fergus. That was some mighty wind. It blew one of the ballast trucks over and sent it toppling down the hill. Wind can't blow a loaded truck off the rails, Fergus grunted. And where's the other van? Fergus, we keep telling you there was no other van except for the one with our tools. Now we must get this mess cleared up. I'll find that van and wipe the smug smirk of its face, grunted Fergus. No one interrupts my work. You're not likely to find it, Boko chuckled dryly, for it doesn't exist. Whatever do you mean? 
rare women have always been superstitious about the number 13, explained Boko. But that doesn't just apply to engines. When batches of wagons were built, the 13th was always treated with apprehension. Superstitions are nothing but tish tosh. Half Fergus. Boko ignored him and continued. I heard a particularly unlucky man, supposedly the 13th in this batch and a misfortune certainly followed it. One night, an engine derailed while moving it with some old sidings. When the crew returned to a crane, the van had well vanished. Uh, uh, and Fergus urged. Some say it was broken up, Fergus Boker, while others swear it's a trickster, roaming the rails in pursuit of mischief. When things go wrong without reason, it's likely the work of the 13th van. Many dismiss it, but you know what you saw. But I guess said nothing. As far fetched as Poltergeist seemed, he couldn't explain how the van moved and disappeared of its own accord. He continued his work with the maintenance crews. It was more focused on that than ever before. He would never admit him to believing in ghosts. But every foggy night, he remains on guard, lest he receive a visit from the 13th band.